John Wyman. Uh, I'm not a painter really, I, I'm a retired teacher and uh, <clears throat> I found an interest in painting. Um, I had done voluntary work, so I went to the Cheshire home and uh, worked up there trying to do some painting. I very quickly found that uh, people cannot draw. Neil had, and I cannot draw a straight line, no good bothering with me. So I thought, now, how about making something out whereby a kind of a stencil, perhaps, um, put some marks and uh, drawing them together. I tried it and uh, it worked, worked very well. And uh, the other day in Milnrow, I was doing some shopping and a lady said, John, I said, yeah, that's me, yes. Um, I met you three years ago. Mm, yes, Spring Hill Hospice. Oh, I was one of your group. And I was thinking the other day, if I hadn't developed cancer, I would never have found an interest in art. Oh, I said, you still, oh, she said, I love it. Acrylics, oils, pastel. Oh, I love it. So, I'll show you <clears throat> template, pop it on the paper. Oh, before we start, you are going to need various things. Paper, stencil, pencil, uh, a brush, big brush actually, it's number, well, it's a big brush. Uh, palette, obviously. Paints, well, I better draw it first, surely. Right, we'll do it, we'll start at the beginning. Move it up there, hold it still, and then I usually count one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and one, two, three, one, oh, one, two, three. Don't press on, just gentle. One, two, three. Three, one, two, three. Uh, round the house. Right. Right. Down. 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 Round the chimneys. And round that chimney. Right. And the, oh, the outhouse. That's right. Round, 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 round. Hmm. So, now, let me see, oh yes, there, join that, now, if your hand trembles a bit, don't worry, it makes it much more interesting, right, to there, keep on that wall, there, and there, and there, yep. Now about the house, the chimney, put a little bit on, make it three-dimensional, and uh, oh, let's have a look, where's that look, yes, there, and then the end bit there, up there, down there, down there, down there, put a guttering on it, top of the outhouse, uh, oh, that hill in the distance, there we are, nice bendy hill. Um, yeah, windows and door, don't worry, put them in after, the tree, everything else, so far so good. Just turn it slightly on one side, and then I also use the side of my brush and just gently put the water on. I'll just move that over and then it's a bit nearer to me, just gently. Plenty. As I'm putting it on, actually, the water's shining in the light. You cannot have too much water. The whole basis of water colour is water. Nice and wet. Now, this is my palette. I don't put the paint in the palette. I put it on the edge. I don't want too much water with it. Alizarin, nice crimson. Not a lot, just a blob, that'll do nicely. Water. 
Notice I use the side of my brush. Now what do I want? Nice big blob. Oh, that's lovely. And another big blob. See the way the water's taking it across. Don't wash my brush. Crimson. Just a little. Just a little. Put your brush down. And just let it move. Oh dear, we're getting a bit of a drip on. <clears throat> Take it back again. <clears throat> See how important it is to have a certain amount of water so it, it moves. Take your time, don't hurry. Just rush it. There the water's mixing the two colours. Now, as you can see there, that is reluctant, so I'll just tickle it and tickle that. Now it's started to move. Yes, that's coming nicely. I'm trying to keep it away from the house. I don't want it too far over the house. Oh yes, that's coming on well. That's it. Excellent. Maybe we want a pot. Now along here we have a wall, and that wall is a brownish colour, which is raw sienna. Nice blob. Notice again, I don't put it in the palette, I just put a nice blob on the side. It's reasonably dry. The water will come from my brush. Wash my brush. Water. Raw sienna. And just lay it on the paper. Notice how nice and wet it is. Straight across. A bit more colour. Straight across. And to there. To there. Still notice how wet it is. Now you may say kitchen towel, what do you want that for? That is the most important part of painting. Not only is it drying the brush, but it's putting a very nice point on there. And I want the point because I now want some Payne's Grey. Always put it in the middle. People know where it is then. Because you can look at the colours and think, what on earth is that? Right, all I've done is Point on my brush. Nice point now. Dot 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 dot. Create a Dalmatian. That's what you're doing. Pop pop pop. Notice how they're melting. And they're creating a dry stone wall. That's the general idea. There we are. There we are, the 37 dots there. I'm only joking. It was 38. There we are. Keep dotting, dot, dot, dot. It's all nice and melting in. That's it. Dot, 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 dot. That's lovely. Now on my brush I've got paints grey. I'm not washing my brush. I'm going to put it in blue. So on there I've got, oh dear, just a minute. I'll put my sky back together. Can you see how it's moving now? In fact, there at the bottom, I want to get rid of that a little bit, so I'll just take that off there. That's better. Lovely. Sorry. Um, blue and a little bit of Payne's Grey on the roof. A bit of water. Blue and black. It's supposed to be slate roof actually. Take a bit of colour off and take it across. Lovely. Right across there. Oh, slide your brush across. Let the water move it. Yes, that's fine. Now, is there a shadow on the chimney? Yes, there is. Where's the light coming from? Ah, now then. The light is hitting there. 
the light is hitting there, so the light must be hitting that part of the chimney, so I'll put some dark on there. Oh, and there. Oh, good heavens, what's it doing? Oh, it's moving a little, can you see that? If you get that sort of thing, wash your brush. The invaluable kitchen towel, nice dry brush I've got there. I'm going to just take that away. Turn my brush round, take that away. There we are. Got rid of that. Oh, got a puddle here. Hmm. Just move that around a bit. So, so now I've used one, two, three colours. That's my fourth colour, lemon yellow, and a clean brush. All the time, water. And if you notice, I put the side of my brush into the yellow. Now, where does it go? Oh, it goes up here. That's right. See how nice and wet it is. Move it around. Gently does it. That's right. Up to there. Take it across there. And to the base of the wall. Now, I've still got yellow on that brush. I'm going to put the tip of my brush into the paint's grey and then I'm going to put that across there. Now notice how it's turning into a green. Just a little bit more. Paint's grey. Now where does it go? Up to that outhouse or whatever it's called. Now then, that also wants to be yellow. Yes, I'll wash my brush. I want a clean yellow. So back to the yellow side of my brush. Nice and wet. Take it up to the wall. Same again. Dry my brush. Still got yellow on it. A little touch of that paint's grey. I'll just go over the side of the house. Now then, where's it going now? yellow and a little bit of the paint's grey just wobble it down there and while I'm at it I can see a little tree so well I'll put two trees in I like trees now notice tip of my brush now imagine you've got a dark dot 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 and another Dot, 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 dot. And a little bit more there, just to create a little bit. There. Oh yeah, sticking out from here. Notice I didn't go like that. I went like that. And it means going like that, that the thick trunk of the tree is at the base and then it goes off right so now the wall I just want to add a few dots because it's dried in quite nicely so a few more dots don't overdo it perhaps along the top of the wall and up there always have a good look what have I missed? The roof of the outhouse. Blue, touch of paints, grey. Put some slates on the roof. Like so. Yeah, so those chimneys don't look very straight, I'll just straighten them up a little bit. That's better. Put that chimney up there a little bit. Just straighten those up. Hmm. I did this picture last week. I went into Shoreside Nursing Home 
and um, I've been going in there for a number of years and uh, I painted with a lady, Mabel. Uh, I thought, I haven't seen you before, Mabel. No, she said, I'm on respite care. Oh, have you painted before? No, but I'd like to try. Well, come on, can you draw? No, I can't draw a straight line. Well, how about using this template? And we started and we painted a picture and she was delighted. The next week I went again and this went on and after six weeks, Mabel looked very sad. Mabel, what's this matter? Well, she said, I'm on respite care and I have to go home. And she said, I I'm going to miss my painting. Oh dear. <clears throat> I felt quite sad myself. If I had some volunteers, I would have said to them, would you visit Mabel every month and do a painting? But I haven't volunteered, not enough to do that. Right, back to the painting. We have this to do next, so clean brush. Notice again, plenty of water. Side of my brush, yellow. And I just slide it on. Notice I put the colour on and now I'm not adding more colour. Just putting the water on, spreading it. Now you could say, why doesn't the paper buckle? Well, it's a heavy paper, specially made for watercolour, and it will take quite a lot of water. So you, you'll be quite all right. It won't, uh, it won't bubble and cockle and so forth. Now, can you see how wet that is? Don't wash your brush. Paint's grey. Now, where does it go? Oh, let me see, it goes from that gateway straight across, a little bit more. And can you notice what I'm doing? I'm not doing it up and down, around and around the roses. Uh, straight across, straight across, straight across, straight across. A bit more water, and paint's grey, and just wobble it in nice and wet. and uh, just pick it up and let it, yes, it's moving around a bit now. Very good, windows, pointed brush. You see, you can't do without kitchen towel. I haven't tried, I haven't uh, cleaned my brush, I'm just banging it. Because I don't want a vivid paint's grey, I just want a fairly dark. Well, how many? Windows, how about one, two, three, four. Well, that's where the windows want to go. Let's uh, see if I can make them just a little bit bigger. One, they look like flags, don't they? Three, four. Now while you're doing all this, you want, uh, I don't have more than four uh, residents, uh, residents, patients. Um, I go to the Stroke Association. I have uh, people who can only use one hand. Uh, I go to the hospice. I go to um, the Floyd unit at Birchill Hospital. And you get a few people and they start talking. And I say, you will watch me where I should do this but once and they all stop and pay attention. Or if you do have trouble you'll say now Doris had to stay in at playtime last week for talking you know. So <clears throat> sometimes it, it and sometimes it doesn't work at all. Paint's grey, two doors, one there, one there. You can only see the top of those doors so We've got those trees, but we've got quite a big one. Now this is difficult. Very few people can do this. Put my thumb on the table. Put my finger on the table. Move my thumb. 
and my finger and pick the brush up like that. And they all do it. And when I turn round, they all go like that. I say, no! Thumb, finger, thumb, finger, thumb, finger, thumb, finger. Well, what do you want to do that for? I'll show you. Bit of water. Now notice, I can put the side of my brush in the paint. Then I turn the brush round and put the other side in paints grey. I've got on one side raw sienna, on the other side paints grey. I put the brush on the paper and as I do this I'll turn it round. Like so. Like so. 